dry pouring concrete has been a bit of a trend. Sidewalks, slabs, landings, a lot of different DIY projects just put the dry concrete mix and sprinkle some water on top and it's as good as done. Now I'm not a huge fan of that and I do not recommend doing that for a slab. But did you know when it comes to setting four by four posts in concrete, that is actually exactly what the instructions say if you have a hole less than 30 inches. I've always been a bit skeptical that that water on the surface is actually gonna pull down through. So that's exactly what we're going to test out here. I have two different versions. One we're going to do exactly as the instructions say, and the second is actually feedback from you guys. So let's jump into it. On the left hand side, I'll add the water on top of the dry mix, and then we'll add the water halfway through, then add more dry mix and complete it off with some water on top and mix it with a piece of rod, as you guys suggested in our last video. Now this is a 30 minute time lapse. The first 30 minutes and I was able to add the complete gallon and a half to both sides and then just let that water pull down through. Now you'll see on the left hand side, all dry mix with water on top, it continues to pull lower and lower while the right hand side started much, much lower, but it seems to be progressing a little bit slower and at the end of the 30 minutes, we still have plenty of standing water both on test two and on test one. Now I'm gonna give this a total of four hour setting. We'll cut the buckets open and see what the results are. All right, after four hours, now let's go ahead and cut these guys open right away. Test number two, which actually had the dry mix water, dry mix water, and a little mixing, still has standing water after four hours. And the one which was all the concrete dry mix and then water on top has fully soaked in. Although there does look to be a little bit of a water leak there but I do not see any dry spots on test one. We see a little bit on test two. So let's cut these open and see what the results are. So I just use my angle grinder with a little cutoff wheel here and open these up. Interesting thing is on this first test, remember just the water on top, I can actually see water leaking out the bottom. So that means we got water all the way down through that dry mix, which is encouraging and kind of surprising. I didn't expect it to do that for at least the test one. Now moving on to test two, there is some water in the top there I need to dump out. And then I'll just open things up so we can see these side by side and compare the results. So overall, pretty interesting results. Test one, where we had all the dry mix and then just the water on top and let it actually soak through. And then test two, filled it half full of dry mix, then put water in, filled the rest away with dry mix, and then water on top. This one had standing water on the top after the four hours being set, and then this one was soaked all the way through. What we do see is actually the second test where we are poking with the rebar, trying to mix it up, actually did a worse job. There was dry pack on the bottom and still dry concrete left in our bucket while I had a full saturation of water all the way through test one, which is pretty interesting. And when we do a measurement, I have about 14 and a half or 15 inches of mixed concrete now here, and kind of 12 inches up to about 10 inches over on our second test. So we had less water penetration. I'm not sure really why that was. Maybe that first mix here kind of blocked off the rest of the water we added up top. So it wasn't able to penetrate all the way down. While here, we had all the water on top and it just kept working its way through the concrete dry pour and then fully saturated it. This is only about half the distance that they call it that you can do a dry pour. So if you had 30 inches, I do think that even this side would struggle to pull that water all the way through, especially because these buckets are the best case scenario where the water sits on top and then fully pulls through opposed to being in the ground, especially if the ground is dry where the ground would start to soak up some of that water where you would not get all the water pulling through your dry mix. 